With a river running through it, the city of Boise has a rich resource that was once, well, not treated like one. Sewage, trash, erosion, all of that was adding to the Boise River getting run down and not exactly a desirable place to be. Well, about 50 years ago, that all changed with the creation of the Boise River Greenbelt. That Greenbelt would be the thread that connected a series of city parks that lined the river. A ribbon of jewels, the city would call it. The ribbon being the Greenbelt, the jewels being the parks honoring some of Boise's finest civic leaders. Things like Ann Morrison, Julie Davis, Marianne Williams, Kristen Armstrong, all of them named for women. Well, the latest addition, Esther Simplot Park. Yes, Mrs. Simplot is the widow of J.R. Simplot, the famous Idaho potato magnet. But she's also known for being a strong supporter of performing arts around town, creating the Boise Opera Company and then the Performing Arts Academy that bears her name. And now she was known as one of the most unique and popular parks in the city of trees. Where the western edge of downtown Boise meets the Boise River sits Esther Simplot Park. It's a 55 acre park, uh, roughly about 22 total acres of water. All of which gets used. Arguably the most popular location from June through August anywhere in any of our park system in the city of Boise. And I would, I would say probably as popular as anywhere in Idaho. But before it became fashionable, this stretch along the river was less than suitable, as shown in this flyover film from 1970. It was a gravel pit with just a bunch of like trees and stuff around here. To turn a pit into a park took a specific perspective, an idea initiated with an ice rink. Idaho Ice World was built by the J.R. Simplot Company in the late 90s. By the early 2000s, J.R. was looking to unload it, so he sold it to the city for a million dollars. And the agreement was that once we paid the million dollars uh, for Idaho Ice World, the Simplot family would turn around and donate that money back to the city to purchase the remaining acreage of what would become Esther Simplot Park. Paying for the land was only part of the plan. The Simplots also wanted a piece of the park's design. And then Scott Simplot, uh, he was a genius on this design. He wanted the ponds to connect with each other and he wanted them to connect with Quinn's. They broke ground in late 2014, intending to have it finished in a little more than a year. However, breaking that ground on Pond 1 uncovered some unsavory stuff. But in uh, removing dirt to uh, create a larger body of water, uh, we did discover some contaminated material in the dirt. As they started removing the unsuitable product, they kept finding more, including cables, concrete, petroleum, and even half a dozen drums of waste. And so that pretty much halted construction. Cleaning it up pushed back completion by about nine months. But by November of 2016, yeah. Esther Simplot Park was open to the public. The culmination of a vision, the significance of which was visible even to the park's namesake. The community is just going to enjoy this forever. Huh? It has so many things that children and people can do and enjoy. I don't think there's any other city that has this type of, uh, of a group of parks and for the enjoyment of their people. Where those people can enjoy and access acres of water without even leaving downtown Boise. The biggest amenity is the fact it's a water feature. And so there are channels that actually uh, folks can start in Quinn's. They can channel through into Esther Simplot Pond 1, and then they can go through a channel um, with a footbridge over the top of it into Pond 2. And then you could either get into Veterans Park Pond or you could jump into the river. But I think it's the picturesque piece to it too as well. Um, not only are there beautiful views wherever you're at in this park, but if you're on the south side of the park, you have this amazing view of the foothills too as well. Well, that $1 million price tag at Idaho Ice World sold to the city by J.R. Simplot's companies was significantly less than that property was worth. Overall, the park cost $16 million to build. But Esther Simplot Park has not been without its problems since its opening. For several summers, one or more of the ponds have been closed by Central District Health because of high levels of E. coli. The city has been working on a solution to get additional water rights to bring in more fresh water from the Boise River and keep that whole thing circulating. And it seems to be working. With weekly testing, those ponds haven't had high levels of E. coli at all this summer.